welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to fix our needs system. So as of right now if we restore our health on the server side everything works properly. But if we do this on the client side nothing really happens. So let's replicate this. So what I'm gonna do is open up my third person character and inside of here I'm going to add a couple of uh, custom events. A one event for one of our needs so we need one for our hunger thirst and stamina so I'm going to do a custom event so first one is going to be server restore hunger server restore thirst and server restore stamina and all of these events needs to be ran on server like so and now from these events we need to add a input or let's see so first one is hunger so I'm going to drag in our restore hunger and this already has an, uh, a amount so I can just simply connect this like so and I'm gonna do the same thing for this so thirst let's connect amount and stamina and let's connect the amount like so so this is good um, the next thing what we need to do is we need to replicate these variables so we can do this two ways we can open up the event select the variable and click replicated this works uh, we can do this with throughout all of our events or we can just simply select our player stats and select hunger so this is already replicated thirst replicated and stamina replicated there we go and while we are still in here we can actually replicate all of our max values as well just in case if along the way we will need this and probably we will since this is a multiplayer game so now let's actually run these events and uh, we need to simply replace these with these and these we have in our UI folder. So UI folder and it's item info. And in the graph here on the click event we have our restore health, restore hunger, restore thirst and restore stamina and I forgot one we need the fourth one so let me see restore health so that means we don't need three events we need four events so another custom event which is server restore health and this is ran on server restore health there we go all of them are run on server and now in our item info we can simply so here we have a route from our third person character we can do server restore health we can remove this and replace it with this one like so that's simple so now from this one server restore hunger there we go server restore thirst there we go there we go and the last one is server restore stamina so as simple as that so now we have replicated our system so now if we would select our client let's test this out with all of our items so let's restore health there we go let's drink some water there we go medicine carrot energy drink and it all works pretty good so the next thing what i want to do is change a bit our needs system because as of right now we are not dying if our health is below zero and I'm also going to change the system itself a bit to be um, a little bit different than it is right now 
So right now I have this on event tick. If you watched my previous videos, then you have the same thing, but I'm going to do this a bit differently. So let me see. So here we have our do damage and what I might actually do, I'll be kind of lazy or maybe not. Okay, whatever. I'm going to make just a new function and I'm going to call this get hungry. And inside of here, we will set our hunger and for our get hungry we will add a value this needs to be a float type and we are going to do current hunger get hunger and minus float minus float and minus this value like so now i'm gonna drag from the hunger i'm gonna check if this is smaller or equal to zero and we're going to do a if branch check to see if this is true. And if this is true, then we are going to do damage. Not server, but regular one, do damage. And so this is hunger. We're going to do uh, 0.5 for the hunger. And now I'm simply going to duplicate this event and I'm going to call this get thirsty. And I will just simply drag my thirst onto this hunger variable and this automatically changes the variable like so and for the amount this is going to be one in the thirst uh, piece and i'm going to duplicate this one more time for get tired which is going to be the stamina there we go and i'm for this i'm just going to remove this like so we're not going to work on this one. We are going to work on this when we are going to create a sprint system. So this is all set up. And from over here, now we can do to check if this float is equal or smaller than smaller there or smaller than or equal to zero. Let's check this. And if this is true, then we should do server do damage. Since uh, if we are hungry, we want to lose our health. So we're going to do one or maybe at 0.5 for the uh, hunger. So I'm going to compile and save this. And now I will copy this duplicate. So get thirsty for this one. And all I'm going to do is just drag in my thirst and drop it on top of this. And this simply changes the variable. Awesome. And I'm going to change this from 0.5 to 1 since this is thirst and we need to drink more than we need to eat and I'm gonna do one more get I'm gonna call this get tired and I'm gonna add this to the stamina we're not going to really use this event as of right now but we are going to use this uh, eventually so I'm gonna leave it be so now we have our events functions set up and what we should do now is change this quite a bit. So I will just simply disconnect the event tick and I'm going to create something a bit different. So what I'm going to do is on the begin play, let's make this a bit bigger. I'm going to set timer by event like so. And I'm going to create a custom event and we are going to mm, let's call this start needs system like so there we go and I'm just going to select this output delete de delegate and connect this to this event and I'm gonna set the time to mm, let's see one let's make this into a looping event and from here I'm going to do our get hungry and I'm going to set the value to one and I'm going to select the get thirsty or better yet actually not one I will do the same like it was with the damage so 0.5 and one like this so this is our need system as of right now instead of having all of this chunk we are having this little piece right here so what we should do now is create something that can actually stop this. So if we die, we should uh, stop this whole uh, event. So I'm going to create a custom event and I'm going to call this stop needs system. 
and I'm also going to create another custom event and I'm going to call this server stop needs like so. So the first one needs to be run on server and the other one needs to be multicast and from the first one we are launching the second one so server stop needs and now so I could make this higher now I'm going to drag from this set timer by event to return value and I'm gonna type in clear and invalid invalidate timer by handle I'm gonna disconnect the execution and connect the execution to this server stop needs like so so actually I will delete the whole old uh, old hunger system and now just for the testing purposes I'm going to do a delay from the event tick and I'm gonna make this let's say like one second and I'm going to do a print string just to test things out I'm going to drag in our health and connect this over here so that we would see our health dropping and see what happens when our character actually has died so Uh, let's test this actually from this one right here so quickly drink some water so the server has died and this works pretty good the health is at zero and it does not drop below zero and it all works pretty pretty good and we have a small bug so the bug is that once the character has died um, we can still collide with this capsule so what we should do is let's see where do we have this event um, take damage do damage here we have this set collision profile name so what we should do is remove 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 the collision so I guess we should select this simulate physics and we should add another primitive component and let's call this capsule component and this needs to be a primitive component like so and we need another one for this as well so capsule component here we go compile connect and from this one we need to do set collision enabled and we need to set this to no collision and now we need to actually transfer this capsule so let's see do damage I think this was the location yes there it is do damage and we are going to Oh, this is pretty simple we only need to connect this over here so let's drag in our capsule component and connect this like so and now everything should be pretty good and we shouldn't collide with our dead character so now let's see this let's drink some water so that we wouldn't die and let's kill this guy and now this one doesn't doesn't really have that collision no more they're only stepping on the dead body and that's it so great so that's going to be it for this video we have replicated some things that we wanted to replicate our character is ragdolling and dying once once we are running out of our stats so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video